Hi everyone, Jacques here with Candy Success to go ahead and walk you through the board settings today. So let's dive right in here. Now we can go to our board settings directly from this page. If you wanna click on this little gear wheel here that I'm highlighting, of course the other option is to go to the settings page. This is the more traditional route and then go to boards. Um, so from here, you'll notice we can go ahead and create a new board. We can also reorder our existing boards, just drag and drop on those if you need to. And we can go ahead and choose which board it is we are working on as well. Now, first off is the general settings page. So this is very simple, just the name of the board, the URL, uh, the public view. You can choose whether or not you wanna show the names of voters publicly, uh, just a heads up. Currently, if you post or comment, your name will still appear. Now we do also have the create post form here. You can customize the wording, uh, perhaps the language. If you're using Canny in a non-English speaking context, you can have a board in a separate language. Uh, but here you can go ahead and customize the wording on exactly every part of that create post form. Now you'll notice this little toggle here. You can choose whether or not you want to allow posts from your end users now in Canny. So up to you whether you wanna leave that on or off. For the privacy settings, let's dive in a little bit here. So we do have our public boards. These are visible to anyone who lands on the page, although we do ask them to identify themselves before they are able to leave feedback. For the private boards, these will not be visible unless someone has access here. You can choose who that might be. So you can say, hey, I want to limit this to only verified users and customers who have logged in and I have identified them. You can set it up using domains. If you wanna filter it to a specific team, you can even go to specific individual people if you want to go ahead and do that. So private boards, public boards, we have a full explainer on public versus private in our help docs. So definitely feel free to check that out. That's gonna be visible here in the help center. All right, moving on, we do have tags now. Tags are not visible to your end customers. These are not visible to your users. These are only for admins. So feel free to have tags that are like low priority, high priority, et cetera. You can manage these as necessary. Now, before we touch on the widget, I wanna to go to categories. These are very similar to tags. Categories are visible to your users. They can select a category when they are creating a post if you have categories established for that board. So just a heads up on that. Now, on the widget side of things, a widget basically means that you are embedding canny, a canny board directly into your product. So for an example, our friends at Taskade have a beautiful setup here. You can see Canny is embedded right into their site. They control the formatting around it. So definitely feel free to play around with the widget. They also have different boards you can choose from here. Uh, so very, very helpful, the widget. By the way, again, we do have full documentation for the Canny widget available in the help center. Now, moving on to importing data, Canny does allow you to import posts onto a board. This is great if you're just starting out, getting things set up, you can go ahead and have a bunch of posts created all at once using a spreadsheet. The other option, of course, is to export posts. This allows you to go ahead and export all the current posts on your board. Uh, that way you have them in a nice spreadsheet CSV file. Last but not least, we do have the option to delete a board. We do have you type the name of the board before you delete, this way it's not accidental. So. I hope that was helpful. If you do have any questions, definitely feel free to look through our help docs. Again, that is the help center up here in your settings page. You can also reach out. There are humans on the other side of this. So feel free to shoot us a message if necessary. With that, thank you so much for your attention today. Make it a great day.